ripening fruits. The question we ask is, why do fruits bought at the same time ripen at different times? Our hypothesis is that fruits ripen differently at different temperatures. The materials are three avocados, three apples, three bananas, and a paper plate, knife, camera, and a marker. We put fruits into three groups. Each group has one banana, one apple, and one avocado. The three <coughs> groups we put our fruits in are fruits in the sun, fruits in the shade, and fruits in the refrigerator. Every few days, we recorded the data. These fruits are the results of, of an eight-day experiment. These fruits are, are from the sun. They are all ripe. These fruits are from the shade. They are not as ripe as the fruits in the sun. These fruits are from the fridge. The, uh, all of the fruits are hard except the banana is brown. <coughs> uh, on the first day, the fruits were raw and hard. We checked the fruits after four days. The fruits in the sun were, were getting ripened. The fruits in the shade were a little ripened. The fruits in the refrigerator were hard but not ripening. After seven days, the avocado in the sun was red and soft. Banana turned too ripe and started to spoil. And the, and the apple was soft and looked a little rotten. In the shade, the fruit ripened a little slowly. In the refrigerator, the fruits were all hard. After nine days, the fruits in the sun were all soft, but some were rotten. In the shade, the banana was rotten, the apple was hard, and the avocado was soft. In the refrigerator, the fruits were hard, but, but banana's color had changed. The results are that fruits will ripen faster at higher temperatures. Our hypothesis was supported. The fruits in the sun ripen faster than the fruits in the shade and the fruits in the fridge, and the fruits in the shade ripen faster than the fruits in the fridge, but slower <coughs> than the fruits in the sun. <coughs> For further research, next time you will bring a bigger variety of fruits and see which will ripen faster. and bananas. Yes, Sharika? In the shade. Why? So it can be ready to eat and it can ripen slower and not rot. All right, good. very good. One more question. So in the grocery section, sometimes you see the fruits that's kept in cold storage, right? It's really cold to touch. Why do you think they leave the apples and, uh, and the pears, etc., all on the cold storage? Why don't they leave it where the bananas are? Elliot? You leave it there because then you could keep it for a longer time. So if quite often you see a very green banana in the grocery store, like Costco, what would you do if you get this green banana bring back to home? You put it on in the shade. On the shade? There are other way to make it faster? In the sun. In the sun. <laughs> okay. I was gonna. This is a uh, might be a little, a little bit of a different science experiment, or taking it to the next uh, the next level. In the grocery store, I sometimes see those things that spray the fruits or some of the vegetables, and other areas are kept. Why do you think some? You know what's going on there? Yeah. What else do you think that these the produce needs in order to stay fresh? They need water to keep getting red. Okay. What kind of vegetables do you notice over in that area? Uh, red. Carrots. Mm -hmm. um, celery. Yeah. It's usually in these. And how are those different from the fruits that you guys, the fruits or vegetables that you pick today? <coughs> <laughs> yeah, usually then the, the leafy ones need a little bit more water. But that could be a completely different experiment. <coughs> Can I just one more question? 
So there's so many of you in this group. What did you learn from each other when you were trying to do the project together? I mean, this is a big group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can answer that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they learned to enjoy each other's company, socialize in a particular setting, and growing with each other. Part of the way also that, uh, how many times did you do the experiment? <coughs> Uh-huh. Two. Two times? So has there been different bananas that you've used over the time? Yeah, so I this think... This is the third time for yeah. you. They've, they've done the experiment a number of times where they all get a chance to, to uh, do the different parts. Great. I have a question. So boys and girls, you said that the banana in the refrigerator, the outside started to turn brown. And if you look at the banana in the sun, it's also brown. Do you think if you open the banana from the refrigerator, would it look the same inside as the one from, from the one that was outside in the sun? What do you think? <laughs> no, because in the sun, it ripens faster than the shade. So does the color always <coughs> tell us that it's ripening? Yes. Okay, sometimes it could. So the uh, banana in the fridge is ripe because it is brown? So is the color telling us? Not always. No. Good job. Good job, friends. <laughs> Parents. I should take a picture of you guys next to the. Uh,